vice chair, um, and she will uh, tell you a little bit more about the award and then present it to Jim. Marcy. And there's a reason for it because we truly honor and uh, celebrate giving back. It's the, one of the most important things we do as lawyers. And Jim's commitment to serving the underserved is beyond comparison. I mean, truly, he is so deserving of this award. I, I want to, I think the biggest testament, one of the biggest testaments to his work is a letter that was prepared by his uh, partner, John Stevens, at the time. Uh, that I included in the nomination package for this award. And it talks about the work that he did for a disabled adult uh, woman whose father had been a firefighter for LA and uh, was denied pension. The, he had a pension and she was denied um, any, uh, any uh, compensation from the pension plan uh, after her father passed away. And this woman was without help and uh, she advocated for herself, it didn't go so well, and along comes Jim. And that was a great day for, for her and for him, and he stepped in and advocated, probably spent untold hours, um, used his incredible skills of persuasion, and got her a significant recovery that has allowed her to continue on and, and, and live a comfortable life that she deserves. So uh, that, that's just one example there are so many. He has never failed to step up to the plate and help when asked. Um, I think it's a calling on his behalf, actually. <laughs> and we are so delighted. Um, another uh, privilege of mine was being in Austin uh, in 2020 when he received the Stonewall Award, which is, I think, the most prestigious award from the SOGI, the Sexual Orientation and Gender Identification Commission, uh, and for all of his work on behalf of LGBTQ uh, people and rights and I, I mean I can go on and on and on and they won't let me because I have five minutes um, <laughs> but it, it is with great privilege that I welcome Jim to the stage and he has a few remarks for you. Mm -hmm. 